Welcome back, sports fans. John Baranowski here with Philip Prevost. George Washington University, George Mason University, starts here on a Saturday morning. Opening faceoff one back by the Patriots. George Mason in the gold sweaters, the George Washington University Colonials in white, taken away by Jake Lessick. Back along the near side boards, Teddy O'Reilly. Oh, big hit by Tony Cordova. Back along the near side, Shields will take it away. Baker looking for it back behind the net, plays to Mandeville. Mandeville throws it in front. Nobody on the doorstep they expected someone there in the slot. Back now to the near side. Tommy O'Connor for George Washington will play it off. Over the far side for Sire. Sire gets it back in front, trying to work the tic-tac-toe. Nothing doing. Fingerquist will get back to it, and he smothers the puck finally. A great back and forth exchange there. Fruchter will put it back. Sevy Cordova will grab it now. Dangles once, twice. Looks for the third one. Oh, and he missed it off the side of the cage. About six inches off. Back on the near side. It was pretty, but just couldn't complete. Pejal takes the slapper, sends it just wide. Back it goes to Baker, takes the shot. Save made, rebound, he scores! Dylan Talbot picks up the rebound, and we're up 1-0 on a power play goal. Yeah, Kohaichek had his first power play unit. It was all his top scores. The people that were on the ice just now make up probably about 80% of the score right now for the and it paid off. Baker with it still. Actually fighting down low with it, stepping in instead. Ooh, a big hit comes from Connor Gear. Welcome back, sports fans. It's impressive to call a game with the banners like this on the sidewall. Dale Hunter, Rod Langway, Mike Gartner, and Yvonne Lombre, uh, Capitals legends here on the boards. Uh, yes, I realize, as, as the Pens fan besides me chuckles, uh, no, it's impressive. These are guys who, uh, some of them Hall of Famers. If they're not in, they should be. It's... Uh, a lot of great names. Yeah, I'm actually impressed because your your amount of hockey knowledge never ceases to amaze <laughs> me. Because I would have never known that. As it bounces off and it's going to be carried up and out by Jake Lessick. He's going to get it ahead. He will get it ahead for Terhart. Takes a shot. Glove saved by Fagerquist. 19-20 remains here in the second early on. And we got uh, a big save by the Tendy. Far side now. Tony from behind the net. Over to Sevy. 104 remains on the power play. Baker, top of the slot. Seve, Tony. Talbot, he scores! Dylan Talbot takes the feed and pops it in the back of the net. Your second power play goal, and I believe his second of the game. Pejal keeping it in for the second time. He goes cross ice to Seve, going over to Tony. Oh, and it's gloved out of the air. What a save made by Hirschman. Did that hit off the post and then jump in the air? Or? I don't know, but either way, he swiped at it. Our, it just swiped at it like a cat. Our, our, our camera guy, the goalie guy, is like, nope, nope, just backdoor pass. Bouncing puck goes through. Quick shot from, uh, that was Baker. Baker didn't get all of it. He's calling for another one. He wants another try. Hey Zhao has it now, takes the shot. Nice lofty one, he scores! Sevi Cordova picked up the rebound right in front, and he skied it top shelf. That was, that was a pretty shot. That was a pretty shot. Up and out. Baker will have it at center end. Trying to avoid the danger of Tommy O'Connor. Baker still with that puck. Looks to the outside, takes the shot, rebound in front. Egan had it. Save made by Hirschman. He snaps out on it. Again, the kid stands on his head. Over the far side, round behind it goes. Played in front. Guiding with the opportunity. Now Pouliot. He scores. Joe Pouliot takes the rebound and pops it in. It's 4-0 in favor of the George Mason Patriots. Here with 419 remaining in the second. In that far corner, he plays it up top. Sent off for Grogan. Over to Lessick, who throws off Garrett Pohl. And now has a second dangle, a third shot. Save made, bottom of the blocker. O'Reilly puts it in front. Quick shot, save made again. Snapped down onto Jake Lessick. Played that shift like a man possessed. He's got nothing left as he had a knee on the ice. Whew. He wanted it. He was hungry. Welcome back, sports fans. John Baranowski here with Philip Prevost as the third period of play about to get underway. 
George Mason will be on the penalty kill for a minute 13 as the opening faceoff won by Joe Pouliot, but it's going to be lost quickly over there to Richard Sire. Up and out. 30 seconds remains on the man advantage for the Colonials. Carrying up ice is Max Turhar. Turhar will get into the zone. Toe drag, quick shot. He scores! He'll get that power play goal on a glove high effort. It's 4 to 1 here with 1908 remaining in the third. Nash trying to get it on it. It's back the other way. Three on one. Carrying it with it. Paragini, quick shot. Rebound. He scores! Chris Boys takes the rebound and puts it into the back of the net. It's 4 2. And we're going to have a timeout called by George Mason. They have to stem the bleeding now. 18 37. Just a minute, but uh, no, 30 seconds between goals. It's all a two goal contest. Minute 10 remains on the power play. It's 4 2. George Mason. The slap shot rings post. Second effort. Save made. That shot came from Turhar, that one that rang the post. Comes up. And no, it's not out. It's kept in by Fruchter. Far side for Lessig. Takes the shot. Save made. Fagerquist rebound. It's on the line. Diving after it. Push out. We're going to have a penalty shot as the player that's pulling on dove on it in the crease. And then he put his hand on it to slap it out. Rather than just slapping it away with a stick, he dove on it. And uh, no, no, you cannot do that. We will have a penalty shot for George Washington. 17-25 remains here in the third. 4-2 your score. We have a penalty shot for a hand covering the puck in the crease. It's going to be taken by the captain, Max Turhar, the man who just rang post. Turhar gets to the puck, swings over to the far side. Working now at the top of the circle, looks for a shot, he scores! Three and a half minutes in, and we're at a one goal differential. Semi Cordova, a little bit of room on the outside, dangles around Grogan, looks, poke check by the goalie. Hirschman made the most of that one. It's Baker looking for it again, trying to get around the other 19 of John Grogan. Ahead for Lovejoy. Lovejoy tees it up, shot, save made between the wickets. Swings around behind his own net and over to the far side. Bouncing puck ahead for Egan. Egan has just whiffing beside him. Look, shot, save made. The rebound picked up by Vecchio. Just not enough on it. We'll have a delayed penalty call. Talbot again. They worked that uh, power play all early game. Nothing new. And now Smolev off to the races if he can get to it. No, I'm sorry, that's Yurkovich. Yurkovich shot, save made. We're going to get a penalty call. Rebound in front. The play not over. Finally, we'll get that whistle. Are they calling a penalty shot? They are. They're going to say Yurkovich had a stride ahead and he was tripped up. I didn't think that warranted a call. Maybe two I, minutes. I maybe. Think maybe two minutes. Oh, they're saying throwing the stick. Luke Yurkovich against Keith Fagerquist. The second penalty shot of the, of the day. The first by Max Turhar was a goal that made it 4-3. The tying goal on his stick, it comes for Yurkovich. Yurkovich comes to the near side, looks, dangles, oh, and he lost it on the way in. Fagerquist didn't even have to make the save. He just stood there intimidatingly. Side it goes for Lessig. For Boys, shot, save made, rebound, Lord! And it reaching out. <laughs> Fagerquist reached out and touched base, and he managed to cover that one up underneath the pad. 314 remains here in the third. He's put back to the near side, finds O'Reilly, centering for Turhar. Sticked away by Baker. 22 seconds remain is from the near corner. Turhar centering pass, pile up in front. Looks like I-95 in the slot, it's over to the far side. Lessig, quick shot, it got caught up in a body. Lessig with it still, 10 seconds remain. Picked up by Tony Cordova. Tur Turhar trying to take it from him. Four seconds. It's over the far side, bouncing puck out, and George Mason will come out the winner of this contest by the skin of their teeth. Four to three, your final score. We certainly thought it'd be a blowout, but no, George Washington made that interesting.